<clears throat> Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Stahl, and today we're going to be continuing with our lessons on odd and even numbers. The thinking objective today is students will be able to compare odd and even numbers using mathematical cubes. The mastery objective is that students will be able to identify odd and even numbers and articulate their reasoning to support their findings. Uh, for the do now, I'd like everybody to take out all the pencils in their desk and determine whether or not you have an odd or even number. I happen to have only one pencil on me right now, therefore I would have an odd number. The first activity we're going to do today is to read aloud the book Even Stephen Odd Todd. <clears throat> This is the book Even Stephen Ah uh, Todd. This book is written by Catherine Gristaldi. And this book is about Even Stephen and his cousin Ah uh, Todd. I'd like you to think about what this book is going to teach you, what you might learn from it, and where you think the names Even Stephen and Ah uh, Todd come from. So let's begin reading the book. Even Stephen lived on the edge of town in a two-story house with a four-bicycle garage. He had six cats, eight gerbils, ten goldfish, and a flower garden with twelve sprinklers. I'll have two loaves of bread, said Even Stephen when he went to the bakery. At the library, he checked out four books. At the post office, he bought eight stamps. Even Stephen loved everything to be even. There's nothing odd about him, his neighbors told each other. Let's skip ahead to meet his cousin, Ah Todd. One day, even Stephen heard a knock at the door. He looked out the window. It was his cousin, Odd Todd. Even Stephen pulled down the shade and turned off the lights. No one is home, he shouted. He heard three knocks. Then he heard five knocks. Then he heard seven knocks. Stop, stop. Even Stephen cried out twice. He opened the door. Ah, Todd, what a surprise. This book continues on to talk about the activities of Ah, Todd and even Stephen, whether it be getting dressed or baking or doing the chores. or riding on your bicycle or tricycle, going out to lunch to eat, having different numbers, slices of pizza, as well as going out for ice cream later. The number of sprinkles really got to even Steven. He couldn't believe he had 11 nuts on his ice cream as well. Even Stephen was also very interested in his prize garden. He couldn't believe that his cactuses had five sharp needles. Oh my gosh, he blew a head of steam. So the book continues. And then we are going to go into retelling the story. We're going to discuss why we think Even Stephen got his name, and Odd Todd got his name. Now, what I'd like to do is to choose some of the numbers from the book and use our counting blocks to determine whether they are odd or even. 
For example, in the beginning of the book, even Stephen mentions he has a four bicycle garage and six cats. Those are two numbers you might want to select to determine if they are odd or even. We can use counting blocks, such as these. He mentioned he had six cats. With counting blocks, we can take away two at a time from each end to determine if we have any leftover. If there were one remaining, we would have an odd number. As you can see, there are none remaining. Therefore, the number 6 is an even number, just as even Stephen would have liked. We would do several more of these practice activities with choosing numbers from the book. Let's move ahead. going to set up four different instructional centers around the room. Each instructional center is going to be based around a game. The games actually come from the book. It's suggested that we play games such as two-handed grab, two by two, divvy up, and count by twos. To give you an idea of how one or two of the games would work, let's take a quick look. The two-handed grab. The two-handed grab suggests that you line your mathematical cube blocks up and you take two at a time away, one from each end, similar to how I just did that. We then circle even or odd. Let's try one. Here we have one, two, three, four, five blocks. Let's take one away from each end. We have one remaining. Therefore, the number five is odd. We would write five down on our paper and circle odd. There are some more challenging questions on the bottom as well. A second learning center activity is two by two. This is where we line up our mathematical cubes with a partner. Each cube has a partner. At the very end of the line, if one cube does not have a partner, we know that cube is odd. If all the cubes have partners, then the cube is even. And we would circle even. Let's try one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here are six blocks. Let's line them up with partners. As you can see, each block has a partner. Therefore, the number six is even. If we took one block away, we would notice that the yellow block does not have a partner. Therefore, the number five would be odd. The two other games are called divvy up and count by twos. The directions will be explained to you when you get to the instructional center. 
we're going to break up into four groups and each group will spend a few minutes at each instructional center and then we'll rotate. If you don't have time to get to all the centers, I'll make sure you have more time later in the day or tomorrow. Lastly, for homework, what I'd like you to do is take a look around your house, in your room, in your garage. Look at various objects, possibly even pets, toys, clothing, and I'd like you to determine if you have an odd number of a particular object or an even number. I would like you to list how you are like even Steven here. For example, I have two pets. That would be something even Steven would say. For example, I have three freckles on my nose. That would be something Odd Todd says. I'd like you to list as many as you can find about yourself or your home when you go home this afternoon. Then come back in tomorrow and be prepared to write a short paragraph explaining why you are more like Odd Todd or even Steven. <clears throat> We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good afternoon.